If you were looking for John Andretti, the best place to find him was at a racetrack. He started karting at the age of nine and in a sprint car by the time he was 20. Are you going to use this as kind of a stepping stone toward bigger things in racing, uh, maybe like Mike and Mario up in the Indy cars, or do you want to go any farther in racing? Oh, uh, sure, I want to go, hopefully all the way to the top. By the age of 25, with his father Aldo at his side, he was there. And the Gold Coast IndyCar Grand Prix goes to John Andretti. His cart win came at Surfer's Paradise in 1991, and at Indy, he ultimately ran in 12 Indy 500s, including races in 1991 and 92, where he ran against Mario and cousins Michael and Jeff. I think we're always fighting to be better than the next one in the family, and and that, that's something that keeps us all um, honest, as we say, where you just want to be better and better. After doing double duty in 1994, racing in Indy and then Charlotte the same day, he may have ultimately found his most success in NASCAR, beating the likes of Dale Earnhardt and Jeff Gordon to win for the legendary Cale Yarborough at Daytona in 1997. I'd like to thank RCA, you know, Goodyear Ford, and all the people that have been involved. I mean, Cale Yarborough, you know, put a lot of faith in me. Two years later, he won for the great Richard Petty at Martinsville. I told them boys, I said, you know, we need to make a habit out of this. But eventually, races became few and far between. He began to do a variety of appearances, including as an analyst for Trackside 6. You've been great to us uh, the entire weekend. He also began something called the Race for Riley. Visits to Riley Hospital for Children meant so much, touched by the power of perseverance, followed by karting events, which raised big bucks over the many years. This thing's getting bigger and bigger every year. I would imagine in a couple of years we'll have it at the Speedway. Is that right? Well, you know, the Speedway wanted us to come, but, you know, we, um, not really. I mean. <laughs> but then came the devastating news in January of 2017. Stage four colon cancer. He said he never got checked, never had a colonoscopy. And all he could think about was his wife, Nancy, daughters, Olivia and Amelia and son, Jared. Is this more difficult to watch in your family than it is? For you to deal with this it's way harder yeah. to watch because they're it's unfair to them i've said it several times it's unfair to them that i'm even in this condition um, because this could have been prevented now for me to go through it um it's my own fault because i didn't get checked i didn't get screened soon enough do you blame yourself i, I mean do, you sit up I at do. night i mean i do because i you know i mean i don't know why but i do just last year, John wrapping up his 23rd race for Riley and checks totaling around $550,000, all despite a number of clinical trials to battle his cancer. You know, you just got to keep going. You know, the more you push, and even if it's hard to push, you got to just do it because it takes your mind off it. Like today, you know, I'm having a great day. John Andretti had plenty of great days, battling on and off the track, Without question, the spirit of an Andretti, every step of the way. You can sit and mope and do all the things you want to do um, that you think that you would expect to do. I, none of that's happened to me. I mean, and a lot of it's because of my family around me. They just, you know, if you do, you're, you're losing. And nobody in this family wants to lose. <laughs>